Hello Cristiano, how are hey, you today? Hello. I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good and you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, good. All so. right guys, so um, today we're gonna do a video to help our viewers how to improve their freestyle and actually how to learn how to swim freestyle more relaxed to be able to swim longer distance. We have made a video to help how to breathe correctly. Now let's make a video how to relax your muscle, relax your body to be able to swim long distance. We have our beginners, they swim usually beginners very fast, very tense. Otherwise they are like robot, super fast. Otherwise they are going too fast with movements. And we try to switch from this stroke to a stroke where instead of you will feel very relaxed, to glide as far as possible on the surface and to be able to master your freestyle for long run, long distance without being tired. Okay? Okay. So when I observe the beginner, Piero, can you help me with the with yeah. the video for this? Yeah, okay. So um, let's let's present what is a beginner, a okay. style of a beginner. Yeah. And the beginner most of the time he swims too fast on the arm and he's too tense, he's very right. tense, he fight with the water. Show me a fighter. Yeah. All right, so that's you turn, you turn the arm fast. Yeah. You fight. You are not so relaxed, and you get tired usually after 10 meters. Yeah, very, very yeah. tense on the arm. Use a lot of energy because of the rhythm. So now let's try now to apply the rhythm where you are much more relaxed. One hand yeah. after one hand, glide your hands on the surface, yeah. and complete relax your stroke and relax your arms. Oh, okay. So less speed, more slowly, more glide and stretch it. and stretch. It. Can you show me? Right, mon Pierrot. That looks cool. Okay, thank you. So basically, right, between the first version, when we have our beginner swimmer swimming, like I go fast, I turn, and I turn. We have now tried to transform ourselves to this swimmer. You pull and stretch, yeah. relax your arms. Pull and stretch, relax your arms. Pull and stretch, relax your arms. Okay. So how? from the step one where I'm fighting, go to the step two where I'm able to swim long distance and relax, there is some exercise very simple to do. The first exercise which is working very, very well is to be able to, you can help yourself with the wall here, put your hands on the wall, pull underwater all the way to the end. When you finish your pulling at the end, over there, lift up your elbows, try to keep your hands near to your body. Don't put your hands in the sky, don't put your hands far away, just keep your hands relaxed near to your hands, no tension in your fingers, okay? The more you relax, the better you are. So you pull your stroke, finish your stroke, lift up your elbow, keep your hands relaxed, and you come touch. forward. So you and mean you, you, can, you can move your hands like this to feel you're more relaxed. If you're not relaxed, your hands will be like this. So, exercise one, pull, lift up your elbow, touch, pull, lift up your elbow, touch. Pull, lift up your elbow, touch. And you practice only on one side. The other hand is supposed to be maintained on the surface. If you are a really beginner, you can put your hand on the wall. If you are okay to do it, you can keep your hands on the surface and repeat. This one stays up. I pull empty the end, elbows up, relax, 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 relax. Touch the water on the side as far as possible, then stretch. Pull all the way. Relax, 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 relax. Touch the water. And stretch. That's good. Pull. Relax, 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 relax. Touch the water and stretch. Okay? This one stays always on the surface. When we do it by swimming. You wanna, you wanna show me? Yeah. So only one side? Yeah. Turn every three? Every, every so every four? I breathe every time. On the no, you can turn every oh, three. Okay. It's fine. Every three. Same hand. And one. And one. And turn at three. So the left hand stays on the surface. You can pull your right hand three times and at the stroke number three, take your breath. That's right. Okay, so you do the lap with only one hand yeah. and turn everything. Can you show me with the other hand? And I will look underwater in the same time. Don't forget to stretch the other arm. Pull on the left, you stretch the right on the surface. All right. Thank you, my 
Okay, so basically now, from the fighter we got, we got the streamer which is elbow two. Pull, lift up elbow, relax, 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 relax. Go back and stretch. Pull, lift up elbow, relax, relax, relax. Touch, go back and stretch. And now, if this is still tricky, if you are not able to master this, there is another exercise, really simple, really helpful. You're gonna pull. Hello. Hi. You're gonna pull with your hands underwater all the way behind you keep your nail inside the water imagine then your hand is like a surfing hands you want your you want your hands to keep inside the water the nail feel the water gliding just on your nail outside the water until the end so basically i'm gonna pull to the end after my pull i'm gonna lift up my elbow but i don't put my hand in the air i keep my nail in the water and i let my fingers surf in the water you see this as I am surfing with my nail. My hands super relaxed. So basically, yeah. look, my it's like I am palming like this. So this I know I am relaxed here, okay? Yeah. Don't be tense. This is not right. This is not right. Just relax, okay? Relax on your finger. Like, like you are like you are out in the water like a vegetable, okay? Like a tree with the wind, okay? Be like a leaf, you know? The more you're like a stone, the more you're gonna sink, the more you're gonna be tired, the more you relax like a leaf the more everything is smooth. So next exercise, pull until the end. Elbows up, keep your nail in the water, make sure they don't go up. Surf to the end, surf to the end, surf to the end. Keep the water and repeat. Pull, elbows up, relax, 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 relax. Eat, pull, elbows up, relax, relax, relax. Eat, okay? So we will do it with only one hand. Yeah. Pierrono, can you show me how you do? Yeah, okay. Relax. Keep the surfing. Pull, keep your hands gliding in the water. That's right. Super. Now you can see the shoulders and the elbows are very, very relaxed. Super, Piero. So I can see I'm relaxed with my elbow and my shoulders. Can you show me on the other side? Sure. I want to look underwater to okay. see that the hand doesn't go up but stays underwater and glide yeah. slowly. Excellent. So you need to feel the sensation of your hands touching. It's like it's, a, touching, it's actually a good sensation. You can feel the water passing your fingers in between. Okay? Now, let's speak about this tension. Usually the beginners they get tired because of that tension. And now you can glide your hands on the surface. After you pull, relax your shoulders, lift up your elbows, keep your fingers relaxed, glide outside the water. The real freestyle you will be actually not touching the water. You will be fly out, but you fly with your hands near to the surface. It's the same things you don't surf anymore. You just fly above, but my hands still relax, okay? No more this straight in the sky. No more elbow with like a robot. Try to be smooth. I pull, relax, drop your hands. Now the rhythm, don't control. At the end, the idea is to drop your hand to drop your hand as relaxed as you can. If you control, you put tension in your muscle, you cannot relax. If you relax, your hand will be dropped naturally. So imagine I got a stone in my hand and I send it to you. My hand is relaxed. Hey buddy, take my stone, I send it to you. See my fingers relax? It's the same. <coughs> you got the spool, you lift up your hands. Now, you have this stone in your hand, you wanna drop it forward. Pull, lift up your elbows, and drop the stone. I send it to you. Pull, lift up your hand. You got this stone, drop your stone. The more it's big, the better it is. You got to understand, you have to be relaxed to look for a huge amplitude. The more you're tense, the more it will be small. The more you relax, the more it will be big behind. Relax, big forward. Drop the stone, shoulder stretch. Pull, relax, drop the stone. Pull, relax, drop the stone. Now, last tips, guys. You swim freestyle. Your idea on freestyle is to go 
forward. So start to relax and go on the left side. Or relax, go on the right side, okay? Don't swim crossing your head, okay? You will end up like a snake. What you wanna go is to go fast forward. So keep your right on the right, keep your left on the left. Pull, elbows up, relax. Drop your hand as far as possible on the right side. Don't go for the middle, don't go for the outside. Just forward, pull, lift up, go on the left side, okay? So basically, look at your shoulders, stretch your hands forward, that's your position of freestyle, okay? No more like this, no more tension, no more arms up, okay? Mm. Relax, okay guys? We go for a demonstration? Yeah. The more you are relaxed, the faster you swim actually. Ali, one, two, three. Drop your skin. Well, that was awesome, Piro. Very relaxed. Your hands flying above the surface. Yeah. Keep Big my amplitude. Hands front of my shoulders when I come forward. I cross. You got me. You show me your last one. I'm just on the front of you. Don't go too fast. Okay. Alright guys, so when you are able to master this relaxed movement non-stop, stretch yourself on the surface and feel more comfortable, that's when you will realize then by being more relaxed you will be able to swim longer distance without being tired. Hope this video helped you. Don't forget to download our swim to fly app on the App Store and you can visit swimtofly.com if you want more tips. Pierrono, thank you for the Good camera. Thanks. See you again soon. Yes, yeah, see you. Bye bye.